Hi, Gemma here. Today I'm going to be showing you SmarterQ, which is my go-to social media scheduler, but it's more than just a social media scheduler. It just saves you so much time, which when you are self-employed and you work for yourself and you're a one-man band, it is an absolute game changer. So I'm gonna walk through SmarterQ to show you how to use it and the benefits it offers. So let's get started. Okay, so this is behind the scenes of SmarterQ and SmarterQ specializes in evergreen content. So that means that content can be used over and over again. So it's a great focus for your business because you don't have to always worry about creating fresh posts every single month. You can create these evergreen posts and they're recycled essentially, making your life easier. And SmarterQ makes it really easy to create evergreen content. So let me show you how to create a post. So you select it to create a post at the top of your homepage. You select a category, so you can choose the categories so that they work for you. Let me show an example of workshops. And I can select which profiles I would like them to be shown on. So I would want them on my Facebook page, my Instagram, but not my Facebook group because it's an international audience. So it just makes sense on my key pages. And then you want to create your description. So um, uh, check out my upcoming workshop schedule and learn calligraphy with me in just two hours. And then you can add all the emojis and hashtags that you want to. So that's one post. Well, you need to add a picture. So let's add a picture. So I've added a bunch of relevant workshop pictures. And then if you you can either choose to have them all in one post, or so say if you want to feature a few pictures in one post, like a carousel post, you can do that. I'm going to click on very media though. And what that does is rather than just having one post, I suddenly have seven posts. So that's really good, very quick way to create posts. Now, if I create a, a variation, um, learn, calligraphy with me in one of my upcoming classes and receive a workbook, a brush pen, coffee and cake. Uh, two fun hours. So this is my this isn't my best marketing work, but I'm just showing examples. So, and another one. Reasons to learn calligraphy with me in my workshops. Reason one. Reason two reason three. So that's taken me about five minutes to create these posts. So rather than creating one post, because it would normally take about what about five minutes to create a post in your usual social media scheduler, it has created 21 posts. So by including three variations of the text and uploading seven pictures, I suddenly have 21 posts. That's half a year's worth of content and it's recycled. So it varies the text and varies the pictures shown. So it's so easy to create posts. Obviously the more posts and pictures you add, the more variation people see. So it's just so quick to create content. And yeah, you can see here the variations, you know, each post looks different. And it also shows you how it looks on Instagram. Okay, 
And then uh, you have something called a queue. This is basically what will be shown next. So you can either make sure it's shown next by adding it to the top of queue, or you can add it to the bottom of the queue to be shown last. Alternatively, you can post it now or schedule or have it recurring. So it could be that every Friday, I think you can, okay. Oh, okay. So you can post every certain number of weeks. So say if you want to post something fortnightly, you can do it that way. And you can also cause a, not cause, you can make a post expire. So say if you are teaching a seasonal course, you can choose an expiry date or you can cause it to expire after a certain number of times of being shown. Something that SmarterQ has also added is like an AI text generator. So you click on add text variation and then you click this little rewrite with AI and you can choose the tone. So let's say cheerful and with emojis. Now, when you choose emojis, it adds a lot of emojis. So you probably want to cut them down, but it creates a very um, descriptive text, which is sometimes good because if you're, you're creating lots of posts, it can start to feel more flat whilst the AI weirdly is often more expressive <laughs> or at least in my case. So if you like what the AI has written, you can click copy to clipboard and add that in as a variation. If you like it, but it's too long, like this is a big block of text, you can click this little wand and click make shorter. So it's creating a shorter variation. There you go. So you could copy that, add text variation, and then paste that in. So it's so quick to create posts. Something to say is this new AI feature is limited in the sense that you can only generate so many prompts using it each month, um, but it's plenty to get you started and then to, to top it up each month. So this is how you create posts, nice and simple makes posts really quickly and saves so much time. So I'm not going to save this because it's just an example. So I'll close the post editor. The next thing I want to do is show you categories. So as I mentioned, when you create a post, you select categories. This is the page where you set up your categories. So you can add a new category. Let's say example. And then I choose a color. Let's choose one I don't already have, orange, okay. And then you can choose which profiles that category uh, can be shown on. So let's say uh, my business other, well actually this is a good example because I want to take this off. So my business content shouldn't really be shown in my learning calligraphy group because it's relevant to artists creating their businesses, but it's not relevant to people wanting to learn calligraphy. So I've unselected that. Okay. And yet, so you can choose the profiles, the color and the name. And what this does is you can use these categories to schedule out your posting plan. So select the category, let's say biz other. Select which profiles, so you can now see that only three are showing up here, not four. And you can deselect or select all, for example, and then you just drag it on to the date and time that you want it to be shown. This means that you can really easily create a posting schedule and you can add that category as much or as little as you want. And this also means that in terms of your business, um, in terms of your business, you can be very flexible. So say for example, I have my Christmas calls coming up soon. I can add seasonal content in. 
and I can add it a few times to really promote my seasonal content and then quickly remove it when I no longer want to show it. So it's, it's really easy to do. And then you can see what post you have coming up by clicking Q. Okay. So you can see what's coming up every day. So Instagram stories are circles, posts are squares. And you can also see what this looks like on your Instagram grid. So you can see what it looks like. If you don't like what it looks like, um, hold on, my head is in the way in Zoom. I don't know if you can see that, but you click shuffle and that, that shuffles it all around. So you can keep doing that until you like what it looks like. Um, you can view a list. That's what I was on a moment ago and you can do it by week. So a weekly calendar. Uh, I was like, why is it doing that? It's because half of the week is over with, or you can do it by month. So you can see what's coming up. So there's a few ways to view it um, and it depends on what you prefer. I actually really like this monthly overview. Cool, so, oh, one other thing that could be very helpful is this find content tab. I don't personally use it because I have a lot of content already. Um, so you can search for calligraphy, for example, and you can search, where is it? You can search profiles, um, so say you want to comment on someone's content, you can share it to your own page and add commentary. It's probably more relevant for industry specific topics. Um, so probably not as relevant to us as artists, but that's something you can look into. Something you can also do is share your blog posts. So I had a bunch of blog posts. I just simply clicked share my blog posts and once I entered my website, it pulled all of the links, which was so helpful. It meant that I didn't have to manually do anything. It was all done for me. Oh, and it looks like you can import from YouTube as well, which is great. I did not know that. <laughs> so that is everything Smarter Q. You can get a 14 day free trial as standard. If you use my affiliate link, you can get a double length trial so you can try it for 30 days. I recommend trying it out to see how you get on. I love it. I It's saved me so much time as a business owner and I think it, it just offers way more than other schedulers. But let me know what you think in the comments and that is it for SmarterQ. Bye!